Now, I'll demo image identification for self-driving cars. This is the main screen of the product GUI. It consists of four parts. The first part is some basic model input setting. For example, we can browse the model and display the model path in this text box. And we can browse the test image folder, or we can copy and paste the link in this text box. Next, browse the image folder. Choose folder. Then we can switch different images by clicking the right arrow button or the left arrow button. The second part, input source. There are five input sources. Folder, image, YouTube, Joycam, and webcam. And the third part, image display. It displays the original image or displays the predicted result image. And the final part is information page, including real-time detection, more information, advanced setting, and others. For them, I'll give a detailed explanation on the following topics. The default input source mode is folder. First, browse the model. These are the different YOLO V5 models, which I trained earlier. For example, YOLO V5 XL, large, middle, and small. Now, we choose YOLO V5 small and open. And then, browse the test image folder. Inside the folder, there can be either images or videos. Now we choose one folder, then click the execute button. It will load all the videos or images in this folder, and then display the predicted result image. And now we click the stop button. As we can see in the image, it will show the Yolo V5 object detection result bounding box and the corresponding class type and the confidence. Also, in the upper right corner, it shows the LPS of each image. LPS means frames per second. We can find that this value will fluctuate according to the number and type of the object detected in the image. Switch to the next input source mode, image. Then browse the image folder. Choose folder. Then we can switch different image. So now we choose one image and click the SQ button. Then it will display the predict result of this image. In this topic, I'll introduce some information page. The first page, real-time detection. It displays the traffic light and the traffic sign in this image. For traffic sign, it is classified into three categories, mandatory, prohibitory, and warning. So now, let's start it. Switch to the image mode, and we choose one image. For example, this image, and click the execute button. As we can see, it displays the original image of the traffic light in the image, and the corresponding classification result image, and the confidence. If the classification result is green light, then it will show go message to the user. By contrast, if the classification result is red light, then it will show stop. For sign, this image detects one sign, prohibitory. This sign is don't turn left. The confidence is 100%, and the message is be aware. Now switch to the next page more information. It shows the details of each image. For example, this image height, image width, and it detects two cards, one pedestrian, two motors, and the computation time of your V5 model, and the computation time for traffic light and traffic sign. Switch to the next, advanced setting. We can adjust the parameters for the Yolo V5 models, and browse different models for the traffic light and the traffic sign classification model. For this page, 
advanced setting, and the following final page others. I'll give a detailed explanation on the following topics. Switch to the next input source mode, YouTube, and copy and paste the YouTube link in this text box, and click the execute button, and then it will load the video in this link, and display the predicted result images. As we can see, although this video is not in the training dataset, the recognition result is still very good. Switch to the next input source mode, Joycam. In the cell phone, first, we have to install the Joycam app. And then, in the home page, it will show an IBCAM access link. We write the link in this text box. In my Joycam, it's 192.168.0.102. And then click the execute button. Then, it will capture the images of the camera in the cell phone. And then display the corresponding predicted result images. As we can see, because the connection is via Wi-Fi, the display will a little bit delay. Now, switch to the page advanced setting. In the first panel, we can adjust many parameters for YOLO V5 object detection model. The most important parameters include confidence threshold and non-minimum suppression ILU threshold. So now, it's in the image mode, and we click Execute. This is the predict result image for these parameters. And next, we adjust the ILU threshold from 0.45 to 0.95. Click the update parameters and execute. As we can see, for the same object, the non minimum suppression algorithm will first choose one bounding box who has the highest confidence and then compute the IOU with other bounding box. Finally, filter out the bounding box whose IOU is greater than IOU threshold. In other words, the more the ILU threshold, the less the filter out bounding box. That is, there will be more bounding box left. On the contrary, if we decrease the ILU threshold to 0.1, update parameters and execute. Then we can find that because the ILU threshold is small, it filter out many bounding box. So there will be less bounding box left. And then another parameter, confidence threshold, now is 0.45. If we increase to 0.9, click update and execute. We can see that just the bounding box whose confidence is greater than confidence threshold is left. And now we turn back to the original parameter, 0.45, and execute. As for other parameters, for example, maximum detections per image. Now it's 1000. And then we adjust to 3, update, and execute. We can see that just the highest 3 confidence objects will be detected. And light thickness, now it's 3, will increase to 10, for example, update and execute. We can see that the bounding box width increases. And if we choose high labels, then the label will not be shown. Finally, if we choose height confidences, the confidence will not be shown too. Continue the previous topic. We use the same image and click Execute. In the page real-time detection, we see that a sign is detected. It belongs to prohibitory. It is don't turn left and the confidence is 100%. So now, for a sign deep learning, it's VGG19 if we browse another model, for example, MCNN and Open. 
Now we click Execute. We can find that the confidence is changed to 0.8. Finally, switch to the page Others. The purpose of this page is to allow us to easily check images of different models for the same scenario. For example, in the left, we browse the predicted result images of the model, whose training dataset as Taiwanese dataset. We choose the first image. And in the upper right corner, we browse the predicted result images of the model, which trains the cargo dataset only. In the lower right corner, we browse the predicted result images of the original YOLO V5 dataset, which trains COCO dataset. And we choose the synchronized image. So we can click the right arrow button or the left arrow button to compare the result images of the different models simultaneously. 